Hello and welcome to a tutorial from iPad Calligraphy. Nicole here with you and today I want to talk about glitter lettering in Affinity Designer on the iPad. So that's what we're going to be creating. I have a black background and some text on top. This could either be lettering that you've hand lettered yourself or it could be text. I'm in the pixel persona and if you're used to Affinity you'll recognize this is the vector persona, this is the pixel persona and I'm going to create a new pixel layer above the lettering layer so I'll just bring that layer above. So now I'm going to import my glitter texture. I'll be using a texture from my glitter and foil pack which was just released for Affinity Designer. If you'd like to follow along though there's a link to a free glitter sample texture just down below. So we'll start by placing an image. So you just choose place image. I'm going to choose from cloud. And now I'm inside my glitter and foil pack and there's three textures, the folder three textures, which has loads of different textures. There's backgrounds and then foils. I'm going to come down to the glitter and find glitter yellow gold. So it's ready to be imported and it says drag to place your image. So I'll do that across the screen and just make sure that the lettering layer is covered. Next, I want to mask this glitter texture and only reveal it where the lettering is. So I'm going to first of all add the mask. I just hit the plus symbol in the layers panel and choose mask layer. So it doesn't look like anything's happened, but we can see just to the right of the thumbnail for the layer that there's a little white box and that signifies that we have a mask and that it's completely white, which reveals. So white reveals, black conceals. That's a little motto we can remember when using masks. I'm gonna select my flood fill layer tool, my flood fill tool, and I've got black selected. Just make sure that you're on the mask. You have the mask selected just by tapping on that little thumbnail. And now I'm gonna tap in there and you can see we've now hidden everything. So what I wanna do is fill the mask with white in order to reveal the glitter where the text is. But first we need to select the text layer. See the little triangle next to the glitter text layer? Just select that and you can select the image directly. And then we're going to choose our flood selection tool and just tap on the text itself and that will select all of the text. Now I'm going to go back to my mask glitter layer. So make sure the mask is active and that you're selected on the mask and my color is white and I'm going to choose the flood fill tool again and just tap inside of the selection. Now we have that entire area filled with the glitter. So that's great, that's what we want. So next we just wanna add a little bit more of a realistic edge. So I've already installed my glitter and foil brushes that come with this particular pack. So I'm in the glitter and foil effects set. There's a few different sets. There's confetti shape and floral, bonus floral brushes. I'm in the effects set and I've got glitter selected. I have my white color and I'm going into the mask. I've got the mask selected and I'm just going to paint in white on this mask to reveal this area underneath. So it's just to it's just to kind of roughen up those edges a little bit and it just adds a little bit of realism. So you can adjust your brush size with the width down here at the bottom. You just pull on that to adjust your brush size and you can see that the little brush indicator shows how big your brush size is. So I'm just gonna roughen up these edges and just make that a little bit more glittery so that there's a few little sparkles kind of coming off the edge of the text itself. So you don't have to go too far, but it definitely adds some realism to just roughen that up a little bit. If I just turn up the width there, you can see you get this kind of glitter texture. And then as you go over, it increases in intensity. So you get like a stronger color as you go over it. So you can use this to just roughen those edges up slightly and have a bit of the glitter coming out from the text itself. So another thing you can do as well is to create a new layer here. So I'm going to just choose the plus sign and add pixel layer and I'm going to come in into my brushes and I'll just choose this sparkle. So these sparkle brushes will paint as you drag, but they're intended to be more stamp brushes so that you just tap once and you get the stamp on, on the canvas. So that's kind of how they're intended, but you can always use them any way you like. Um, you could also use them to create a path of little sparkles. But this one works really well to just add a couple of sparkles around the text itself. So you don't go overboard, but like in just key areas, you can add a little stamp of a white sparkle or maybe a light yellow sparkle and that just adds that little sparkle just to the text itself so that's a nice little trick too. So another brush in here as well we looked at the glitter one and now if I come out of the mask and just create 
a new layer. So I'm going to just use a blue and I'm on a separate layer. This brush is called Glitter Coloured. So this is really cool. This creates like a sparkle in different colours. So this can be really nice to just add around your designs and just really bring them to life. And if you go back over them, the intensity increases. So you get like quite a strong effect if you kind of cover it over as well. So that's a good one to play with. And while we're looking at masking and this pack, I'll just show you how to do it with a foil effect as well. So I've got another file here with the text foil, which can also be lettering. And similar to before, I'm going to add a new pixel layer on top. Make sure I'm in the pixel persona. And I'm going to place an image. So you press the little page icon there that's next to the arrow, place image, and then we're going to import from cloud. And then we'll come back into our textures folder. And you'll see there's all these foils in this pack. So I'm going to find a nice gold one. So we'll use this aerial gold. So then we can just drag to place the image above the foil like before. I'm going to tap the plus sign and choose mask layer. And again, we need to invert the mask just by filling it with black. So make sure you're on your pixel persona and you get the flood fill tool and your color is black. And then we're going to select on the mask itself. You can double tap and just get into that mask and then just tap on the mask and it will hide everything. Again, we'll select the text just by using the flood selection tool and making sure that we have that text layer selected. Tap on the text. And if it doesn't select everything together, there's the option to change the mode to add, which now allows us to just add to that selection. So now we have the entire word selected. Go back up to your foil layer and change your color to white now. Come back into the foil mask by tapping on it and then choose your flood fill tool and make sure white is selected and just tap in there to reveal your foil. And then to deselect, you just tap this little X here and that will deselect everything. There's a foil texture brush here that is quite cool and you can add sort of a little foil effect. So you could either use the mask to do that or add a new layer below the foil text there. And I've got my color set to like a light blue because we were working with the foil texture before, but this brush is also, you can just paint with a particular color and the texture is part of the brush. So you'll see that foil texture appear as you paint. So that's another cool way that you can create your mask lettering in Affinity and then combine it with texture brushes. That works really well. I'll just give you a quick demo of a couple of the other brushes that are included in this set. So we looked at a few more of the glitter brushes. There's also one that is great for lettering because it, it has a border around it. So it has a middle bit divided out and the border around it. So that's a nice lettering brush in the glitter effects set. There's also this glitter dust brush, which is cool. And there's loads of other ones here as well that just paint this glitter effect. And then you've got flex and flex dense. So these you can use as a stamp brush or you can paint. Um, I just tend to stamp them around the screen. So they, those ones are good for adding some texture to your designs. So for some other brushes we have in the confetti pack, we have both glittered textured and foil textured confetti brushes that paint that pattern in seven different shapes. And then there's also a colored version of each of those. And then there's others that go through the full spectrum. So they're sort of, you know, use all the different colors. So this is really nice as well, these confetti brushes. And then there's glitter and foil shapes, which are cool. They add like a stamped shape with a distressed edge. So there's lots of different shapes that you can stamp and they've kind of got a cool sort of distressed edge. You can use those with the glitter and foil color palette to make some really nice effects. And also the bonus florals. So the bonus florals have individual stamp elements and they also have these scatter brushes. So there's lots of different flowers with these brushes that you can use as scatter brushes. So they sort of work similar to the confetti brushes or there's individual stamp brushes that you can use in your designs as well. So as well as what we've already seen, I'll just show you a quick behind the scenes of what is included in the glitter and foil pack. So there's nine of the different glitter textures in different vibrant colors. And then these gold, coppers, rose gold, silver, and then these really colorful kind of bright, almost hologram looking foils. Then the backgrounds, we've got black card texture, we've got leather, marbles, and then gold pattern designs. And the color palettes included as well with lots of gold tones and silvers and rose gold. 
and then a few of the foil kind of colors coming in as well so these are all the glitter brushes then there's the confetti brushes in both glitter and foil textures there's also the colored confetti so you just choose one color and it varies the color as you make the stroke and of course the shape brushes that we looked at earlier that have that sort of distressed edge they're stamp brushes and bonus floral brushes so these are floral stamps but they're also available as scatter brushes that work similar to the confetti so i hope today's tutorial gave you some good ideas about how you can use beautiful textured lettering with masking layers in affinity designer if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more like this then subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified whenever i put out a new video thanks again for joining me and i'll see you next time bye for now